uh, about youth engagement and how to engage the youth, about the uh, financial stability of the city and the city budget, and uh, the uh, for the non-incumbents, uh, why uh, why you feel the need to run at this time for the incumbents? What do you still hope to achieve? Why you want another term? <coughs> We're ready. All right, Phyllis, go forth. Can you? Yes. Phyllis, go forth. Ready, Alderman Board Five. Um, I do support recycling. I think we have to. I think I got a couple of places that we miss a lot. My husband and I for a long time have been recycling glass paper and we've been shredding paper. Um, I'm sure that's not enough, but I think we have to start with us and then keep educating everybody else. So I would like to say on something that Diane brought up is that the police do collect uh, meds and you can get rid of your meds at the police station. And so, and I believe you can get rid of most hazardous material if you contact the fire department and do it the way they tell you to do it. My track service does pick up any hazardous material, whether it be batteries, whether it be paint, if you set up a side and not try to hide it in the back. That's what they don't want. So, I support this and I'll let it move on so we can... Okay, we will now... Uh, go into our two-minute closing statements. It's still all random, so we will. Yes, uh, I will flash thirty seconds remaining of the third of the two minutes. Okay, uh, we will start with Frank Hunt. Frank Hunt, Ward One. Uh, you know the the reason I wanted to run for alderman was to give ourselves a chance to have a fresh voice up here at the Alderman Station to, to allow communications which would better our city and to bring uh, a united uh, effort between all the Aldermen and Mayor necessary to make some uh, quality changes here for Raytown. Uh, I feel like that better communications would be a number one issue as far as making the uh, city grow and change and make it so that we would have a voice of the people and the, the voice needs to be clearly heard right here at City Hall. Uh, the other thing that I would like to see happen is the budget is not going to get better unless we work on it. Uh, we have opportunities out here that that uh, would bring about um, the leveling of the playing field necessary to allow all things to happen inside of Raytown. Let's, uh, let's make a better effort to uh, make this happen as far as a group. Uh, and we as the aldermen uh, have, a, have a large opportunity here uh, to make this happen. Uh, the other thing that I would like to, to uh, bring about is uh, the code enforcement is just one beginning necessary for a large change inside of our city. Uh, it's, it appears that we, we have not uh, asked the uh, communities to actually make those changes. We haven't stuck with the plan consistently and it's going to take something like that to make Raytown grow. Uh, we are a clean operation if we would just try. Thank you. Diane Creasy. <coughs> Diane Creasy, Ward 5 candidate. I'm running for alderman because I think my diverse work experience, my contributions to the community would be an asset. As a small business owner, we have to be creative problem solvers. We have to move swiftly, develop strategies to survive and prosper. I keep hearing about budget, budget, budget. We need to make money. Revenue, we need to increase this. It's our saving grace will be to continue to attract new business, encourage business growth, 
and promote Greytown as a place to live, a great place to live. Increasing that city's tax base is critical to maintaining our crumbling infrastructure, such as the 83rd Street Bridge and enhancing city services. We need to seize every opportunity now and, every, and do everything possible to work towards development of our downtown, which should have the highest concentration of sales tax and property tax generation. And of course, get more development out on 350 Highway to help pay that TIF. I've run a positive campaign. I've, uh, some of the contributions to the community, by the way, is I'm the founder of the Arts and Music Festival. I saw this as a way of building community, and we are attracting folks from the surrounding area to our festival, and they are seeing what a great community we have, especially our parks. And so, um, I own a global business here in Raytown, and so I'm fully vested in this town. I live here, I work here as a business, Raytown's greatest resource is its people, and it's imperative we all get along so we can move forward. It's my hope that the folks in Ward 5 will elect me as their alderman, and I will be happy to represent their interests and um, work hard for the su success of Raytown. Thank you. Ryan Myers. Well, uh, the reason that I am running is because I want to see the city that I grew up in be the best that it can be. Um, what I do bring to the board that no one else that's running can say is that I'm the only one that's under 30 years old. <laughs> it's three years. <laughs> but that being said, I, I can offer new ideas that will bring young families like mine, here I am, I'm single, that will bring younger families to Raytown. Like Bill was talking about earlier, uh, Cerner's coming to town that will bring potential of 16,000 jobs, much of which consists of people my age that are fresh out of school that are making fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars and want to move to a new place. And I think if we strategize it correctly, we can make Raytown a place that they want to live. Um, another thing that I, that I do have is uh, I have a unique set of skills that um, much of the board doesn't have. Uh, my background, I have an undergraduate degree undergraduate degree in economics, uh, public finance, as well as uh, my career is in commercial real estate. I'm an appraiser. So I, I deal with municipalities on a daily basis. I know what works. I know what doesn't work. What might work for Lee Wood may not work for right now. But there's lots of ideas that some of, some of the people on the board may not have access to. Um, again, the reason that I'm running uh, all sincerity is to make the city I grew up in a better place. Thanks. Chuck Haynes. Chuck Haynes, candidate for Alderman Ward 4. I'm running for Alderman in this city like the rest of us because I do want to make this a better community. I do want to give back to this community, which is giving us so much. My wife and I chose this as a place to retire, the place that we want to live out our golden years. Um, my wife always complained that uh, we had to move around a lot because of my job, and she never got to see her garden grow. We're going to be in great town, and she's going to watch that garden grow and mature, and that's why I want this to be a great place to live. And we need to make a community. Yes, we have to focus on infrastructure, and that infrastructure has to be economic development in both downtown, and I want to see economic development on 350. I want to see the local shops and restaurants come in, but at a minimum, we need to take a look at some of the green spaces and uh, do some uh, planting and some things that will help enhance the looks of how 350 goes to the rest of the world as they drive through our town. And again, get some economic development on 350 to get people out of their cars and spending money. I do want to support the public schools. I think that school systems are very important and are the cornerstone of the community and it will bring in people and it will bring in business. And I agree that uh, to, uh, the other gentleman that we have to bring the youth into this town and let's start about invigorating uh, the city itself. Another thing that I think we need to take a look at is in the city government there, there seems to be some fighting going on and I know some people have been looking at and reading in the newspapers. One of the things I think we need to look at more is consensus management as opposed to majority rules. I have quite a bit of experience in this in uh, the position that I had uh, in my previous employment before I retired. 
and politics and opinions can get in the way way too often. Let's start worrying about how are we going to work together, how are we going to take the diversity of this community and all come together for the common good, and let's move towards consensus. I think we can make this a great place to live for all of us. Thank you. Phyllis Goforth. I'm Phyllis Goforth, and I'm running for alderman in Ward 5. I've lived in Raytown since 1963, graduating from Raytown High in 1969. Choosing to remain in Raytown, my husband and I opened a hair salon in 1981 in Raytown and still own it. In 2007, I became a charter <coughs> member of the Raytown Main Street Association, and I'm currently on the board serving as vice president. I co-chaired the launch of the Egg Extravaganza, and I co-chaired the annual holiday lighting ceremony. And with my husband, we attend the Raytown Christian Church, where we're members. In other words, I've been actively involved in organizations in the betterment of the city of Raytown for many years. Raytown is a growing city, and I want to continue to be part of that growth. But to do that, we need to continue to build a strong community. When our core leaders work together with our constituents, we're all stronger. That's why I've been actively involved with the City of Raytown, the Raytown Chamber of Commerce, and the Raytown Main Street Association. But along with growth, I believe it's important to keep the citizens of Raytown safe. To that end, I attended and graduated from the <coughs> Citizens Police Academy so that I could see firsthand how Raytown is made more secure. This experience has given me insight on how great the Raytown Police Department operates. As I've served the people of Raytown, I have come to believe our citizens want, deserve city leaders who bring honesty, integrity, and commitment to their every decision. I hope you'll vote for me on April 4th and join the many community leaders who endorse me in continuing to make Raytown an exceptional city. I would like to thank Vicki and the League of Women Voters for putting this on. I also would like to thank my mentor, Steve Mock, who started planning this with me last year before he got sick. Thank you. Loretha Hayden. <coughs> My name is Loretha Hayden, and I'm running for Alderman in Ward 2. First of all, I too would also like to thank uh, the Raytown Chamber of Commerce and the League of Women Voters for sponsoring this forum. I'm not new to Raytown. I've been a part of the Raytown community for over 30 years. Not only do um, I own a home and property here in Raytown, but my husband and I are small business owners. We own the Lucas Fried Fish here in Raytown. So we have a real interest in the well-being of, of Raytown and the progression of the city. Um, the city of Raytown, I believe, is at a crossroads. And in order for there to be forward progression, it seems to me that it's time for a change of the guards. Um, during a ceremonial change of the guard, um, the sentries of the military personnel are replaced with a new batch. We need to get back to the business that aldermen have been tasked with, and that is working with the mayor and all the aldermen to assure that we are representing the constituents of our wards without bias toward one area, street, or department in Raytown. We should be a voice for our constituents, and every issue that is put before us, we should think, what would my constituents want? How would they want their tax dollars to be spent? We should put personal preferences and agendas aside and be that voice for our constituents. Some thought I was crazy to even consider um, running for the, for the Board of Aldermen, um, especially given some of the confusion that's evolved. However, I have a favorite saying, if you're not a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And you may be the problem. <laughs> have the opportunity to be the solution. I believe that I can help to restore the trust that citizens have lost in our city administration and political positions. I look forward to your support in helping me to come the next alderman for Ward 2. Thank you. Bill Van Buskirk. Thank you. I want to thank the League of Women Voters and the Raytown Chamber of Commerce for hosting the event this evening. We had ties to Raytown for many years prior to making Raytown our home in 1972. 
We've been very involved in this community ever since through volunteering and participation in various organizations. I proudly served as a reserve officer with the Raytown Police Department for many years. We're members of the church here in Raytown. We had four sons graduate from Raytown South High School. I retired in 2004 from Hallmark Cars with over 40 years of service in the graphic arts field. I'm a member of the Raytown Chamber of Commerce as well as Friends of Rice Trelawney, the Raytown Historical Society, and the Raytown Main Street Association. I'm a strong supporter of our Raytown first responders, our police, EMS, and firefighters. For the past eight years, I've considered my full-time job to be that of alderman here in Raytown. I've served as Mayor Pro Tem, as well as serving on various committees, including the Municipal Committee, the Police Pension Review Committee, and liaison to the Oversight uh, Tax Oversight Committee. I'm currently Chairman of the Legislative Committee and serve on the board of the Raytown Municipal Redevelopment Corporation. My purpose for running as an alderman has not changed. It's simply to serve. My agenda has never changed. It's to make Raytown a better place to live and do business. We have accomplished many things, but much more needs to be done. My promise is to continue working hard each day as your alderman. I offer honesty, integrity, and dedication. I'm thankful to have had the honor to serve the people of Ward 4 and all the people of Raytown. I'll always serve to the best of my ability. I ask for your support and vote on April 4th. And by the way, Chuck, I love homegrown tomatoes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mims. I'm Bonnie Mims, a candidate for Alderman of Ward 5. I want to be your Ward Alderman of Ward 5 Alderman. I'm asking for your vote on Tuesday, April the 4th. My experience and as an active member of the Raytown community, as a state representative and a school board member, makes me a great choice to be the voice of the people. My background is in business government, which I am very proud to say that I am a union woman, I am an Eastern star, and I'm a woman that takes tasks on some of the most sensitive issues, and I make it work. I think in coming to the table and being a strong leader, and experience in teamwork, and integrity to make the board of, to work with the Board of Aldermen and the Mayor to unite Great Town and to close the gap among the City Hall and our constituents. We have many things to be excited about. Great Town is growing and, and this is exemplified by the increase of new businesses, facelifts of current businesses, current of continued public and private investment will increase the opportunities for Ray Town's ongoing economic growth, which along with some of the things we said about CERN being here and helping us to continue to grow and make Ray Town a great place to live. I have been speaking with residents and, and it was an honor to meet with so many wonderful people. And our common theme was that our vision was to save neighborhoods, providing local services for seniors, residents, and families, and repairing our streets and building sidewalks. Residents are looking for experience and leadership, and I will be honored to be your voice in our city. I firmly believe it is my responsibility as a public servant not to play politics, but to give our community the resources needed to thrive and not survive. I would love to be able to work with everyone and be able to say that this is a proud place to live. For me in my lifetime, and I want to share with you, we were not allowed to come into Raytown. And I want you to know that I have been here over the last 30 some odd years and served the south part of Raytown as a state rep, and I want to continue to serve as your alderman. Thank you. Janet Emerson. Thank you. Janet Emerson, uh, Alderman Ward 3. I have been in the city of Raytown for 40 years. I have worked hard to make our community great. I have uh, served on the budget committee. I have, I have been a member of the Raytown Chamber of Main Street. I helped start the farmer's market. I have a business uh, background. I have started three very successful businesses that are international and are thriving today. I believe that we need to get more businesses in this town and if you look around in the last two years, you can see the things that are happening in our city. 
They are growing, they're having all kinds of new businesses, and lots of people on the horizon that want to move here. And we have Cerner that has given uh, $10,000 to every one of their people that are going to be working out there on Banner Street that will move within four, four miles of their, their business, and that is part of Raytown. We've got the Rock Island coming, uh, the, bike, the walking trail, that will be a huge boom for our community. And I certainly hope that you will...